a lovely day in Gisborne. Is it always like this? Every single day. Great. Marana Mackey's with us. She's the Labour candidate for Gisborne and a list for East Coast. East Coast. Um, and we're about to go into the big debate between That's her, right. her and the Derek. death match. The death match, yes. I'm hoping for some Jerry Springer type, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Well, we brought some of our nans along and they got their walking sticks, so you never know. Just stay clear of the walking sticks. <laughs> I get I can't imagine. Look, well, I thought we'd do a couple of serious questions here. Sure. But, um, well, what do you think is the biggest issue for people out on the East Coast for this election? Ah, uh, the economy. Um, I know probably everyone's saying that, but our, it's our regional economy um, because whenever we go into a recession we get whacked the hardest and we get whacked first. I often feel like we're the canary in the coal mine. Uh, so economy, jobs, wages, um, infrastructure, just making sure that as we go through harder times uh, that, that our region comes out of it okay. Now you're into your second term as an MP, yep. I'm wondering, when did you first stand for election of any type? Was it school, university, when did the bug first oh, hit? Oh god. Well I used to stand up and um, show and tell every single day that we did it. <laughs> to the point where uh, my mother informs me that one day I got up and said um, my mum let me wear these socks this day. Um, I think that would probably be standard one, Mangapapa Primary School. Um, I stood for a school bag monitor. Um, I was hoodwinked, the job was not what it was promised to be, you know, school bag monitor kind of sounds like something you might want on your CV, it really was pick up everyone else's crap monitor. Um, I stood for like it. Being a whip. <laughs> <laughs> I stood for it and I won um, and it was a hard, hard job. I think that, that's the first time I can remember. Now look, heading internationally, three yep. days before our boring election, there's a much more <laughs> exciting one, United States, are yep. you backing McCain or Obama? Obama. I mean, I think, you know, McCain's a good friend of New Zealand, and I think there, there are pros and cons either way, but um, I, I, I haven't seen the debate today, I taped it. Um, I've taped every debate and watched it, and I just think, you've got to go Obama-Biden. I just think McCain's not engendering any confidence, regardless of your political persuasion. Yeah. Now, there was a bit of a suggestion that John Key gets into big trouble, and possibly he could replace Bill English with Sarah Palin. Do you think that could be I a think we could strategy? Probably, I think there's more similarities between John Key and Sarah Palin than Bill English and Sarah Palin. I mean, God, the debate the other night, all he had to do was not pass out on stage, and he did really well. Oh, you sound like Helen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, no, we got tax cuts a week yep. or two ago. What are you personally going to be doing? Spending, saving? Uh, it's gone on the mortgage. Calvin's, <laughs> Calvin's already told me he's already made sure that my mortgage payments have gone up. Yeah, very prudent. That is very prudent. And like, final question: Goth or Cumber? For what? For anything. You defied the question. Well, I used to work for Phil, and I'm related to David, <laughs> so I think I have serious conflicts of interest. <laughs> uh, so I will say, why don't you put Hughes in there? That's a good question. Oh, he's going to be upset. He will be. He will be very upset. He got to introduce the Prime Minister at the conference. He did, he did. Didn't Rising he look chuffed? Star. Wearing a blue shirt. Jesus, I wouldn't have made that mistake. Blue and red. I yes. know. <laughs> the Grand Coalition. <laughs> <laughs> well, who knows? Yes. Darren may see himself as the one to lead that. Well, well Darren's question was whether Gingers should be given the vote, and he did seem to be in favour of oh, I think he's probably in favour of quotas for Gingers in Parliament. Funny you mentioned that. Oh, really? <laughs> that was indeed his answer. Look, we've been here inside. Thank you very much. No, nice to see you. Thanks, Moana. <laughs>